You know, it thrills me to be able to do this podcast. This is week 23 of a study in 2 Corinthians. You know, we've been 23 weeks in this study. I, I, I look back and, and just think about, my goodness, how, how fortunate I am to be able to do this. And you say, well, well you're, you're, you're doing a podcast. Why is that being fortunate? I'm fortunate enough to be able to study with you to do this podcast. Because when I, when I study and, and, and do what I'm doing on this podcast, I'm benefiting from it too. I'm getting, I'm getting the, the, the strength and the understanding that I'm proclaiming to you through, this, through the God's Word. It thrills me to be able to do this. We've been, we've been in this study a long time. June 21st of 2021, I started that In Him Scripture study. The Lord laid it on my heart to do that, and I invite you to, to get one of those cards and, and do that study. Go back and go all the way through it. We spent 41 weeks on that study. We went into Romans. It was 25 weeks in Romans, uh, 27 weeks in, in uh, 1 Corinthians, and now we're 20, week 23 in 2 Corinthians. You know, there's strength in God's Word. God wants to prepare you for something. He wants to prepare you for what He's got for you to do in this world. I was talking to a group of guys yesterday. I had to go over and 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 meet with a, a man that I was sending my son a uh, some stuff back to where he where he works at in, in Otagaville, Alabama, and at a, at Canaan Land Ministries. And and one of the ministers that that was uh, from there, he was here in town. Taylor was here in town, but they 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 took him on an outing. Took the the students for the Bible school on an outing. And he, Taylor was gone, so I met the guy over here and sent him some, or sent Taylor some stuff back to him, and uh, uh, we were we got to talking, and it, you know it thrills me to be able to to be used the way, like we are used on this podcast. But I told him, I told the minister and the, and some of the students that that didn't get, get didn't they they could have went, but they didn't want to go on this rafting trip that that the other students went on. And uh, we were all standing there, and I told him, I said, listen, I said, we've all got a place in this world. We've all got a place in this world that God wants to use us. He wants to use us to glorify his name, to draw people into his, into his kingdom through Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. And, you know, I said, me and, me and this minister cannot do all of it ourselves. You know, 10,000 ministers can't do it. It takes every one of us putting our, putting our hand to the plow and not looking back, but going forward for the glory of God. That's what we're doing on this podcast is helping people to see their place in this world and, and, and equip them to do what they're supposed to do in this world. And, and, and that, that equipping comes through when we start doing what God wants us to do, and that is to teach the world who they are in Jesus Christ. That's my, that's my commission in life, to teach the world who they are in their salvation, in Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. I feel like I need to read this. I hadn't read it on the podcast in quite a while, but uh, I'd like to read my vision. My, my vision, I, I read this every day for myself. But I've, I hadn't read it on the podcast in a while. It says, my vision is to teach the world who they are in Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. To teach them what the Bible says about them and who they have been made to be in the promises of God's Word. This changed my life years ago and completely transformed me from a person full of doubt, fear, and unbelief to a strong, confident Christian that knows I can do anything through Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I'm determined to teach the world what God has taught and commissioned me to teach, and that is his word. That commission takes me to jails and detention centers weekly, along with other open doors at many churches and ministries that are wanting to teach the, these important truths to the world. My podcast goes out six days a week to help the people I am ministering to grow in the truths that God has taught me for many years now. This podcast is free to all that want to listen and grow strong in who God has made them to be in Christ Jesus, their Lord and Savior. Oh, I thank God for that. 
I thank God for the vision he has given us. I praise him for who he has made us all to be in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. My prayers for today, once again, come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. Paul wanted the Ephesians to know and understand the love and the mercy and the grace and the goodness that God had for them. And that is my desire for every person that walks the face of this planet, that they come to realize just how much he cares, just how much he loves them. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he calls his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power, or leader, or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ, and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3, 14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God he has opened my eyes to that love, that mercy, that grace, and that goodness. He does it every day of my life, and he does it through his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide me. Use me today, and I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Now listen, we're going to talk about something that that uh, today is a struggle from a, for a lot of people. And God knew Paul loved the Corinthians. And he wanted them to know that. But I'm still, you know, I'm I I'm I'm not really I I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you I don't know everything. Now, this is it. But I know one thing, that Paul earnestly cared for the Corinthians. He, There's no way in the world he, he would have went through what he went through with them if, 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 if he didn't love them. But listen to this. It says, wherefore, because I love you. This is, the, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 11. It says, wherefore, because I love you not, God knoweth. Now that, you read that and think, well, what's he talking about here? Let me read it in the New Living Translation. Uh, the New Living Translation for 2 Corinthians 11 and 11. It says, well, why? Because I do not love you, do not have preference for you, wish you well, and regard your welfare. God perceives and knows that I do. And that's the that's, that's the Amplified Classic. Let me let me read the New Living Translation. It says, "Why? Because I don't love you. God knows that I do." He's still talking about not taking money from them, and I don't. I mean, I I'm not going to try to explain that, but I want you to understand 
the love that Paul had for the Corinthians. These people, the this this church, these people were. I mean, we've been in this for you know biggest part of a year. I mean, the biggest part of a year we've been studying the the Corinthians, and this was one messed up bunch. There was things going on in that in that church that should have never went on, never. But I've said it over and over for the last year, and this is this is the essence of of uh, what God wants the world to realize that He's for them. And Paul went out of his way for the Corinthians to get a hold of this, and that some of them and some of the Corinthians in in. Uh, they had just they had looked down their nose at Paul like he wasn't he wasn't much. We went through that. We've we talked about, you know, all the sin that went on in 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 the Corinthian church. But but I want you to look at what Paul was doing. Paul was literally there on his at his own expense. He last week we talked about it. He said, I'm taking money from from someone else and using it so I can stay here and minister to you. And he now he's he switched gears, and he's talking about, you know, just because I'm not uh, taking allowing you to give, because he had preached to them about giving. He had, he had told them, said, hey, you need to give, but he was encouraging them to give to the people in Jerusalem to help them. He said, "If if you'll give, the Lord will bless you." And 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 that's my. I mean, I, I'm all for it. I'm telling you, if if the Lord's laying it on your heart to give into His kingdom, kingdom give because I promise you, He'll bless everything you do. I'm telling you, He will bless you, bless your socks off if you'll do it. But yet, Paul was saying, "I don't, I don't want to take anything from you. I want to give you something. This this is this is what what God." Uh, what Paul wanted to do, and he wanted he also wanted to, the the them to know that god that God knew his heart, and he wasn't trying to hold anything back from them, but no, he wanted to to sow into them, and he wanted to do it unhindered and and be helpful to them. God knew how much Paul loved the Corinthians, and listen listen. There's time. There's been times in my life that certain people, certain groups of people, really got on, under my skin, and I can I can't imagine dealing with a group of people like the Corinthians the way Paul did. Uh, uh, just maybe a year ago, uh, I I don't know that I could have cared for people like the Corinthians the way I do now. I, I really I don't know that. But I don't know, you know, what's what is around the corner for this ministry, as for what direction I I I need to go, but I, I do know this that lo- the Lord is leading me to to help and and in a I think he's trying to get me to go a direction that I ran from five years ago. Well, really longer than that ago. I mean, I left I left the church that I was going to in 2015, I think, and got into a church that was teaching faith and and believing God and standing on it and and since then we we had uh, left from that church and went into a, another faith church trying to help him them and you know we've the Lord uh, led us to go there to help that pastor and and it's it's you know we've been a uh, they they've been a, a help to us and we've been a help to them and and you know it's worked out wonderfully but uh you know, I feel like the Lord's, you know, telling me to to look, listen. They there's people out here that need this. They need it. And and we want to help you do it. And God knew Paul's heart. He did. He wanted to help the Corinthians. Even though they just I'm talking about were a mess. And 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 he's wanting them to understand that 
I'm here for you. I want you to to know it and, re- and realize it. And and I'm not trying to hurt you in any way. I'm trying to help you. And this is something that that I want the world to know about this ministry. We're not out here trying to hurt you in any way, put you in any kind of bind. We want to help you. We want to sow life into you. You say, well, can you do that? Absolutely we can. Uh, You know what that life is? That is Jesus. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. God wants to bless you. He wants to help you. He wants to lead you and guide you in every direction that you go in your life. He wants to guide you and love you. But listen to me. You need the Word. I I say this all the time in the jails, but I can't be in there five days a week or seven days a week. I can't be in there 24 hours a day. I said, but you have got the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you. And and, uh, uh, all you need is... Christ's Spirit, the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit in you and a Bible. And and you will grow strong in that if you'll just look to that Word and, and let the Lord lead you and help you. I want, I want you to understand something today. I, I feel like the Lord is, is help, wanting us to help as many as we can. And we talked about that pizza kitchen or those uh, tractor trailers yesterday, having a pizza kitchen in the trailers. And that's, that's, that's my heart. That, that is my heart to, to not only feed people physically, but, but when we feed people uh, physically, we use that pizza as bait. <laughs> and you say, well, is that a good word? Well, yeah, I mean, it really is. It's bait to get people's attention to look to God's word through this podcast and get fed. And God knows my heart. God knows I love everybody on this planet. God knows I love the people that I am, uh, that I ran from, you know, six years ago. Well, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 28 years ago. And he, he, he knows how much I love those people and want to help and, and can help them uh, through, his, through his guidance and understanding. But, you know, I don't know what that entails. I don't know what that ho- holds for my life. But I do know this, that God will supply every need. He will supply every need. Paul wasn't trying to hurt the Corinthians. He wanted to help them. And he, and he told them, said, God knows I love you. And I'm going to say this, God knows that I love you and care for you. I want to help you in any way that I can. And this podcast is out there for you to draw from. Do it. Draw from it. But the the most important thing that I want to uh, emphasize to you today is that if you've never been G- been born again, if Jesus Christ has never saved you, He wants you to be saved. He wants you to accept Him as, as Lord and Savior of your life. Romans 10 and 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised Him from the dead, it says you shall be saved. It don't say you might be if you're good enough. He says, if you'll confess me as Lord, believe in your heart that God raised raised, uh, Jesus Christ from the dead, he says, you shall be saved. He says, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Won't you be born again today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart, into your life? and save you. He will. I promise you, He will. Glory to God. Make Jesus Christ Lord today. And if He is Lord of your life, get in this study with us and find out who Jesus Christ has made you to be in that salvation. But most of all, if you've never been born again, be born again today. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and watch Him change your life forever. 
Glory to God. Hey, listen, go to our website and get in touch with us. There's all kinds of resources on that website, and they're all free. There's not a dollar connected to any of them. They're free. Take them and use them. Download the app. Go to the, go to the podcast providers, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. There's all kinds of different ways to, be, to, to find out what this podcast is all about. And it, it's, it, it's all about helping you become who you are in Jesus Christ who God says you are, not what religion says you are. So listen, go to the website, get in touch with us. If you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you for all that you're doing, sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is give his word away, give his, give his love away all over this planet free of charge. Go to the website, get in touch with us. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do, whether it be sowing into this ministry or some other other ministry that is preaching and teaching the truth in God's Word, seeing people born again, seeing people strengthened through the truth in God's Word. Pray about sowing into God's kingdom through this, through this ministry today or some other ministry. Say, Lord, what would you have me to do to sow into your kingdom today? Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the dash prodigal son dot com